செங்கமல கண்ணாயா சிங்கார ஹரி கர்பனா செங்கமல கண்ணாயா சிங்கார ஹரி கர்பனா கோவிந்தானந்தா கோபால ஸ்ரீ வைகுந்தா Oh, 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 oh. 
I salute Lord Krishna, the teacher of the universe, the divine son of Vasudeva, the destroyer of Kamsa and Chanura, the supreme joy of Devaki. Revered Ishtaprana Didi, Respected elders, sisters and brothers, Om Namo Narayanaya. Just as the Mahabharata mentions the thousand names of Lord Vishnu, a text which is famously recited daily by countless Hindus as the Vishnu Sahasranama, saints have also compiled a list of the thousand names of Sri Krishna. One of those names which is very popular, is the name Parthasarthi. Partha is another name for Arjuna as he is the son of Pritha, another name for his mother Kunti. And the word Sarthi means charioteer. Thus, the name Parthasarthi means the charioteer of Arjuna. In the Mahabharata, when war became inevitable, both the Kauravas and the Pandavas decided to approach and ask Shri Krishna for help in the war. Duryodhan and Arjun both travelled to Dwarka and when they reached there, they found Shri Krishna asleep. Duryodhan sat at his bedside close to Shri Krishna's head and Arjuna respectfully sat at his feet. By sitting close to his head, Duryodhan had been secretly wishing that upon opening his eyes, Krishnaji would see him first and his wish would be granted. However, when Sri Krishna awoke, he saw Arjuna first. He then saw Duryodhana. He asked both why they had come. They told him about the war and both their sides needed his help in the war. Sri Krishna said, he will not take up arms in the war. He gave them two options. Either they choose him alone as a non-combatant or choose his mighty army, fully equipped and ready for battle. Since he had seen Arjuna first upon waking, Arjun was asked to choose first. Duryodhan was dismayed because he felt that Arjuna would ask for the army which he himself desired as he thought that Sri Krishna would be of no use to him as a non-combatant. However, Duryodhana was surprised when Arjun chose Sri Krishna alone and unarmed. Duryodhana thought it was his lucky day as he had got Sri Krishna's powerful army and he returned home happily. Arjuna was most elated as he had also got Sri Krishna on the side of the Pandavas. Wherever the Lord is, there is truth, goodness and righteousness. Truth triumphs, righteousness guides and protects. In order to keep 
to his vow not to take up arms in the war, Shri Krishna offered his services as Arjuna's charioteer, which Arjuna gratefully accepted. Karna was the adopted son of a charioteer, but he was embarrassed by that. He felt, as most others did at that time, that it was a lowly profession to be looked down upon. But here was the Lord himself who was willing to become a charioteer. He elevated that profession by taking that role in the Mahabharat war. Even if Sri Krishna had vowed not to take up arms, he could have offered his services as military strategist or some other glorious position, but he chose to be Arjuna's charioteer. Sri Krishna is the Lord of the universe, yet for the sake of his devotee, the all-merciful Lord became a charioteer of his devotee. When it came to this part of the topic, I was thinking of that lovely bhajan which we sing at the ashram, Sabse Ochi Prem Sagai, and uh, the one line goes as, Prem Vivash Arjuna Rathahakyo Bhur Gaye Thakurai. And another beautiful bhajan which is sung at the ashram and thought is some, somehow connected to this is uh, the bhajan which master used to sing Sakali Tomar Icha Icha Moi Tara Tumi It's a Bengali bhajan so my pronunciation may not be that good Ami Jantra Tumi Jantri Ami Ghor Tumi Ghoroni Ami Ratha Tumi Rathi Jemni Chalao in the Vedantic sense, the dynamic interaction of persons, horses and parts are yoked, reined and bound together, serving as an allegory for the Atman or Self and its relationship to the senses and the body. The Katho Upanishad in verse 1, 3, 3 and 4 says, and I quote, Know the self as the lord of the chariot and the body as verily the chariot. Know the intellect as the charioteer and the mind as verily the reins. The senses, they say, are the horses. He who has understanding for the driver of the chariot and controls the reins of his mind, he reaches the end of the journey the supreme abode of the all-pervading. End of quote. In the Sri Parva of the Mahabharata, verses 11, 4, 1 and 5, 1, Vidura explains the concept of samsara to his grieving brother, Tritrashtra, by offering the metaphor of a chariot and a charioteer. I quote, The body of creatures is a chariot. Sattva they call the charioteer, the senses they call horses, the mental organ of action is the reins. Whoever follows, after the rush of those running steeds, he turns about like a wheel in the cycle of samsara. Whoever restrains them with understanding, that restrainer, charioteer, does not return. This chariot by which the unwise are bewildered must be controlled. Restraint, renunciation and vigilance, these three are the horses of Brahman. Whoever is firm in this spiritual chariot and yoked to those deeds with the reins of morality have renounced the fear of death, O King. He attains to the world of Brahman. End of quote. In the bhakti sense, we must leave Shri Krishna to steer our life, take us in the right direction. Do not let our senses lead us astray or pull us in different directions. God consciousness filling our mind takes us on the spiritual path. Jai Shri Krishna, Hari Om Tat Sat. Om Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kam Sachanoiramardanam Devaki Paramanandam 
कृष्ण वंदे जगत गुरु कृष्ण वंदे जगत गुरु ओम अथ पंचदशो अध्याय पुरुषोत्तम योग श्री भगवान उवाच ऊर्धमूल अध शाखम अश्वत्थम प्राहुर्व्यय छंदी यस्त वेद स वेद विधश्चोर्ध्व प्रसृता शाखा गुण प्रवृद्धा विषय प्रवाला अधश्च मूलासतता कर्माबंधी मनुष्य लोके नूपमेह तथोपलभ्य चादीर्न च संप्रतिष्ठा अश्वत्थमेन सुविरूढ़मूल असंगशस्त्रेन दृढ़ेन चिवा तथ पदम तत्परीत यस्वर्तंति भूय तमे चाध्यम पुरुष प्रपदे यथ प्रवृत्ति प्रसृता पुराणी निर्माण मोहा जितसंगदोषा अध्यात्म विनिवृत्त कामा द्वंदुक्ता सुख दुख संज्ञा पदम अव्यय तत्सयते सूर्यो न शाको न पावक यवर्त तम पर ममेवांशो जीवलोके जीवभूत सनातन मन षाणींद्रिया प्रकृतिस्था कर्षति शरीर यदवाप्नोती यछाप्युत्क्रामतीश्वर गृहता संया वायुर्गंधा वाशया स्त्रोत्र चक्षुस्पर्शन चसन घ्राणम चिष्ठा मनस्ा विषयान्पसेवते उत्क्रामत स्थित वापी भुंजान वागुणावित विमूानुपश्य पश्य ज्ञानचक्षुष यतंतो योगिश्चन पश्यत्मस्थित यतंतोप्यकृता नयन पश्यत सह यदागत तेजो जगद्भासयते खिल यद्रमसी यग्न तेजो विधि मामक गाश्य चूता धारयाम यहम ओजसा पुष्णा चौषधी सर्वा सोमो भूतात्मक अहम वैश्वानो भूवा प्राणीं देहमाश्रित प्राणापान सयुक्त पचाम चुर्विधम सर्व चाहम हृदय सन्निष्ट मत स्मृतिर्ज्ञानमोहन च वेदेशमे वेद्यो वेदात वेद विदेव चाहम द्वा विमो पुषो लोके क्षरश्चाक्षर एवं क्षर सर्वाणी भूतानि 
कोटस्थोक्षर उच्य उत्तमा पुषस्वन्य परमात्मेदारित यो लोकत्रय बिभर्त्य व्यय ईश्वर यस्माक्षर अतीतोहम अक्षरादि चोत्तम अतस्मी लोके वेदे च प्रथित पुषोत्तम यो मूढ़ो जानाति पुषोत्तम स सर्विदजती मर्वेन भारत गुह्यतम शास्त्र मयानघ एतुवा बुद्धिम सैतकृत्यच भारत ओ तत्सत्मद्भगवदीता सुपनिषत्सु ब्रह्म विद्यागशास्त्रे श्रीकृष्णाजुन संवाद पुषोत्तम योगो नाम पंचदशोध्याय ओ शाति 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 जय नंदा माधवा गोपाला केशवा
Dear sisters and brothers, the Lord is very fond of his devotees. Sri Krishna Bhagwan says in chapter 9 of the Bhagavad Gita, Fix your mind on me, be devoted to me, sacrifice to me, bow down to me. Having thus made yourself steadfast in me, with me as the supreme goal, you will come to me. Sri Ramakrishna used to sing a beautiful song. Oh, mother, I am the machine and you are the operator. I am the house and you are the indweller. I am the chariot and you are the charioteer. I move as you make me move. Sri Krishna is the supreme charioteer. May he guide our lives 
and save us from the potholes of worldliness so that we can reach him. We pray to Lord Krishna to bless us, to fill our hearts with love and devotion, to purify us so that we can sing his name, sing his glories and be happy and peaceful in our hearts. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Swami Ji Ki Jai Sarvarishi Muniyo Ki Jai Parvati Patay Hara Hara Mahadeva Ki Jai Shri Krishna 